help us out is Dr. Rachel Ross. Welcome back. Welcome oh, it's Dr. always Ross. a pleasure. <laughs> I find that a lot of people overwash. Ladies get in there and they scrub and they scrub and they scrub and you're actually they're washing away all the good stuff. First we have citrus fruits. They're high in antioxidants and vitamin C and are sure to keep your love life juicy. And they actually make you taste sweeter. So your kisses will be sweeter and your sex drive rev So are we talking about up. eating them or? That's yes, what I was saying. up with. <laughs> so eat, eat some and rub some. Yeah. No, but actually it being in your system actually makes all of your, 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 your saliva sweeter, every part of you sweeter. Join us now with sexual health expert, Dr. Rachel Ross. Welcome back to Welcome back, Dr. Ross. Thank you. Glad to be here. Sexual health is such an important part of life. It's an important part of your immune system. It boosts your immune system and your cardiovascular health. And at the same time, kind of helps keep a healthy household. The Wayne State University found more than half of women rate the outdoors as the most arousing and appealing. And it takes you back to high school a little mm -hmm. bit too. You know, when you were right, well, when you were so young, you didn't have anywhere to go but the I mean, car and outside. Whoa, 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 Rachel! Trust me, too much information. Sexting is epidemic among young people with all kinds of bad outcomes. So kids who've had this happen to them, they usually have to go through extensive counseling because they don't know how to face the world after something like this happens. It ruins their whole world. Dr. Rachel Ross, a sexologist and family physician, says we're just finding out how devastating sexting can be. There are pirates out there looking for pictures of young girls and young boys that they can actually use for their own sexual gratification. And that's really scary. To help us out is our special guest, clinical sexologist, Dr. Rachel Ross. Welcome. Did it make you guys see each other differently? Yeah, you know, exactly. did you did you feel like, oh, he's so sexy, he was doing flips on the trapeze? You're like, oh my god, look at my husband go. It takes exactly. women longer to climax than a guy. So putting diff five different positions in there and then maybe sure. putting your mouth in intimate places. Yeah, you know, sounds like things uh, to a new level. That starts to put you in the danger zone when you're over 42 inches. We However, know these people still what? need good models. I mean, they still they, they exist. One in three people are this size. What? And so, when people, you know, what's the point? Ladies, do your exercises so you can have those strong orgasms. Yeah. We try to be amateur sexologists, <laughs> but you're the pro sexologist. Yeah, it's gonna, and I'm excited to be talking about lady parts, the vagina, new new, pocketbook, whatever it is that lady <laughs> Self-pleasure kind of keeps you ready. And so I tell single ladies, you know, single women who sit around and self-pleasure all day, what you're actually doing is setting yourself up for a bad hookup. Because what you're doing is you're actually priming your sex drive. So for single ladies who don't want to be, you know, just up. Ran yeah. in random sexual situations, yeah, I actually anybody. recommend that they cut down the self-pleasure a little bit. Really? But for ladies who are wow. in a relationship yeah. and like, you know, feel very comfortable, it's monogamous, I know this person doesn't have an STD and we can do this, then I think it's it's important to keep that self-pleasure because yeah. you want to keep it awake. Dating an older guy is great. There's nothing wrong with it. Really? You get better gifts. <laughs> what is it, the whole term outer course? Outer course. Well, you wrote a book. On yes, it. actually, yes. outer course is basically the opposite of intercourse. It's everything that you used to do as a teenager that made you feel great and you know, making out, those types of things, what I find is that couples, as time, time goes on, they stop doing it.